Hello everybody. Today we're going to learn how to root our 2.3.3 EVO 4G. So if you're ready, grab your phone and let's go. Okay, so today we have an EVO from Tim in Connecticut. Thanks, Tim, for letting us use your EVO. Now this was, just as a side note, an EVO that Tim bought from us brand new. And I just want to show you something because we get a lot of questions about are our phones brand new and you can go here you can see that um, the reconditioned status it says no so this is a this is a first run HTC you can see life data is 18 kilobytes that's because we tested the internet for a minute after we flashed the phone you can see life timer is zero minutes okay with that being said a little plug for our new phone sales let's get on with the route here the very first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have debugging mode turned on on your phone since we use Linux in order to uh, root the phone. On this phone I have it because I, I just flashed it but let me show you how to do that if it's not on. You can go to menu and then the settings and just scroll up a little bit until you get to applications and then go to development and make sure USB debugging at the top has the check mark in green. So once that's set, we can go ahead and plug our phone in. So let's do that. Okay, so now our phone is plugged in. If you hadn't plugged it in previously, it's going to load the drivers. Now, as a side note, if you have an HTC Evo and this is the first time you're plugging it into your computer, you're going to need to go get the drivers. You can get those drivers right from HTC, and what you want to download is HTC Sync. Now there's a key to get all this to work. The key is this. You need to install HTC Sync, which works for all HTC devices. Then you need to go to your control panel, and you need to delete HTC Sync. Why is that important? Well, HTC Sync the program itself will actually interfere with most of the shell commands that we need to run. However, when you install HTC Sync, it installs all the HTC drivers on your computer. And so when you uninstall it, it takes the program that interferes with what we want to do out, but it leaves the drivers on the computer. That's the important point. For more information and a step-by-step -step on how to do that, go to the video that I have on how to flash your HTC Evo 4G and I go into detail on how to install and uninstall HTC Sync. Alright, so back on with the root. We're going to say, hey, we have that installed. Now we can go to Device Manager. I have a shortcut here, but if you want to get to Device Manager quick, you can right click your computer icon and click on Properties. That'll bring up this screen and you can go to Device Manager here. So a couple ways to get there but you can see at the very top Android USB devices and if I click on that it has the ADB interface with the HTC Evo that's plugged into my computer. That's what we want to see. So now if you have SDK on your computer you can test your connection by going to your SDK folder and platform and tools and just type in an ADB shell and when you see the prompt you'll know that you're connected to the phone. That's not important if you don't have it. Anybody who likes to fiddle around with Linux will have that. You can test that real quick. For everybody else, just ignore all that nonsense. Okay, so what we want to do, we'll go to our Evil 4G and we want to root this. This is 2.3.3. Obviously if you have 2.2, go to Unrevoke. Okay, so we're going to go to Revolutionary, which is the website. It's revolutionary.io, and you can scroll down to where it says Downloads. And we'll go Download for Windows because that's obviously what I'm running. And when you click on that link, notice that this beta key box pops up over on the left-hand window. And then it gives you the option to download 
revolutionary.io. Now obviously you're going to want to do that. If you click Save As, now you can pick where you want to save it as, such as your desktop. That way it's easy to go and find. If you just click Save, it'll save it in some remote location and you're not going to be able to find the darn thing. So go ahead and click Save. It just takes a second to download. Now you want to leave this box up. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and we're going to stick it right over here just to get it out of our way. Now I have this program installed on my computer already but I'm just going to run it right out of here. So you can go to extract now it'll put a folder on your desktop you can open that folder and there's the application that we want to run revolutionary so let's run it okay so it says it found your device now let's go over to the beta key a second you see what it's at it's asking us for an operating system which is Windows it's going to ask what device we're trying to root now you can see there's quite a few devices supported here uh, so we're going to do the Evo 4G It's going to ask the H-Boot version. Now you might be going, what in the world is the H-Boot version? That's okay. If you look over here, you'll see Supersonic, which is what we call the HTC Evo. That's actually the name of it, is the Supersonic. And you'll see 2.16.0001. This is going to be your H-Boot. It could be 2.15.001. When you click on this, it's going to ask you, is it 15 or 16? Obviously, ours is 16. Yours might be 15. Just make sure you have the corresponding H boot version over here. Now it's going to ask us for the serial number of the phone. Not the MEID, but the serial number. What's convenient about the program is it gives you the serial number right here. And you can plug that information right in. So HT17. AHL04962. Now, when you hit generate key, it's going to change and it's going to give you a key. Now, what you do is you put that key in over here. This key, by the way, is case sensitive. And just so you know, it can be a real pain to figure out what some of these capital letters are that they use. Beta key accepted and now you're just gonna wait and this is gonna run the entire route. So we'll just sit back and we'll let that run. And so now we see that the exploits taken. It's rebooting in the fast boot. Now it's going to unlock the bootloader. And now it's going to give you this option. Do you want to download and flash Clockwork Mod Recovery? I typically say yes. And it will download it and it will flash that recovery to your phone for you. and now you're done. When you look at the phone now, well, you can't see much because it looks like a bright light in the camera. But at the very top you'll see revolutionary. The ship is off. However, we're not done. This is just the first step. The reason being is that revolutionary just unlocks your bootloader it doesn't really root the phone so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we're going to reboot typically at this point I simply remove the battery from the phone and then boot it back up now I have an SD card installed if you don't get an SD card and install it at this point in time, then reboot your phone. Okay, now we're rebooted. 
we have the SD card in the phone. What we want to do is pull the information bar down and where it says charge only, we'll click on that and we'll go to disk drive and click done. And now after just a minute, it's going to pull that folder up into the computer here. So we'll go ahead and we'll open that and the very first thing we want to do is we want to put let me show you this we have a 4G custom kernel that's going to enable Wi-Fi the kernel that's on the HTC Evo 2.3.3 stock does not have the permissions to allow Wi-Fi tethering so we're going to use a custom kernel it's in the form of an update file so we're going to take that update file and we're just going to pull it over to the root of the SD card. What that means is we're going to put it right on the SD card. We're not going to stick it in any of these folders. So as soon as you move it, you should see it right there on the SD card. All right. So we'll go ahead, we'll close out of that. And now we're going to shut our Evo down. Now, again, I typically just pull the battery out. Now we put the battery back in, and we're going to boot the Evo back up by holding power down. I'm sorry, not power down. We're going to hold volume down, and we're going to hit power. And that's going to bring up our H-boot menu, which you probably can't see. Now because you have a memory card in the phone, it's going to search for the PCIMG file. It won't find it. But once the search is over, you can use the volume down to go to recovery in the little menu. You'll have the choices, fast boot, recovery, clear choice, storage, sim lock, etc. Go to recovery and then hit the power button. And now the phone is going to reboot into the custom recovery that we flash to the phone. Just takes a minute. okay so here we are now with this particular kernel you don't have to wipe or do factory resets in order to write it you simply scroll down to update from SD card apply update from SD card which will be the second option in this menu and you click the power button now you'll see a bunch of no's and a yes install down here this is a safety measure you will go to the yes install and you're gonna hit the power button again and now it's going to install the new kernel. Okay, so now it's installed. And what we'll do, it defaults to the top option, which is reboot system now. That's what we want to do. So we'll hit power and we'll let the phone boot all the way back up. Okay, so now we're booted all the way back up. We want to go back to our uh, USB connection and we want to chart to disk drive again and we'll click done and again the SD card will pop up on our computer and we'll open that and we'll delete that update file that was our custom kernel we'll go back over here and now we want to put super user permissions and actually root the phone. Again, it's another update file. We'll drag that back over to the SD card. And once it's on there, you guessed it, we are going to reboot the phone. And of course, I do it by pulling the battery out. Okay, so once more, we're going to hold the volume down and the power button. Then we'll just release the power button and we'll go into the H boot mode uh, because we have the SD card remember the phone is going to scan for the IMG file okay so now we'll go down to recovery we'll hit power and it'll just take a minute and it'll reboot back into the recovery 
All right, so now we're back at the recovery, and we'll just scroll down one, two, apply update from SD card, and we'll hit the power button. Again, we get that screen with all the no's and the one yes, so we'll go down to the one S yes, install. We'll click the power button, and now it's going to put in super user busy box and give us all our super user permissions on the phone. This just takes a few minutes while it mounts the system files. And there it goes. And it's complete. And now it defaults back to reboot system now. That's what we want. So we'll click the power button and it'll reboot. We'll see you back at the home screen. Okay, so now we're back at the desktop. And if we go into our applications, we scroll down, we'll see super user here. So we know we're rooted. We have super user permissions. And now let's just go ahead and test that real quick. Again, if you have ADB installed on your computer, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't bother because it's a mind-numbing experience learning about this stuff sometimes. But you can go to your Tools folder and go back to Shell. And then you can go into Super User. And you'll get a request on your phone. You'll get a request on your phone that looks like this. You click Allow. And then on the computer you can see the symbol here indicating super user has been granted. So we'll just exit out of that. And of course if you have ADB set up you can just install the Wi-Fi app. Which is what I'll do now. And so now if we go back to the phone and we go to our programs. You'll see wireless tether there at the bottom, so we'll click that. Now, obviously I install it through ADB. You can go to the marketplace, type in wireless tether or Wi-Fi tether, and that's what you're looking for is a Wi-Fi tether, usually version 3, and you'll download that to the phone. Now that you, have, you are rooted and have super user permissions, when you come in here, uh, you can click the little green button, it's going to ask you for your super user request. You're going to allow that. It just takes a minute to start the first time. And now it's tethering. Now if you don't have the proper kernel installed and if you don't have root properly, you'll see errors here. If you see errors, you're going to have to figure out what went wrong and fix that. When you close out the first time, you'll get the super user request again. Just click OK. And you're done. Rooted with Wi-Fi tethering.